It is the next morning, got some rest. Um, feeling pretty bloated. Too much fried food, too much beer yesterday, too much agua ardiente. So I'm going to uh, relax and not eat so much shit. Soon we'll be making our way to the airport. Gotta get an Uber. This is our last view of Medellin. It's a beautiful city. Thanks Medellin, but we gotta go. All right, we're all set. Ready to leave the apartment. Made it on the flight. Going to Bogota. It's good. It's pretty not packed plane, so very happy about that. Still watching. Still watching. And we are back in Bogota. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. Si, si. San Cocho. This is a lot of stuff. Alright, we made it to the area of Bogota. Um, this is ours. Let me just make sure. One second. Haunting of Hill House skeleton. Oh, there you go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Wait, there's still cups in here. What the f is that? Yeah, it's, it's two o'clock. Two o'clock, yeah. Someone's still staying here? No, uh. All right, so we just arrived in the Bogota Airbnb. We haven't cleaned it yet. Um, I guess we came early. I was speaking with her through uh, Airbnb's app, and she said it'd be ready by two. Check-in's supposed to be three, so maybe there was a little bit of a miscommunication there, but it's all right, we made it here. We could drop our stuff off, and now we could go check some stuff out because tomorrow we'll be doing a lot of things, and also uh, the day after that, and then we leave and we go to Cartagena. So yeah, let's just get our stuff together, and. Go to go around Bogota. All right, it is now three o'clock. We got here at two, and the host of the Airbnb is not answering. So we're trying to find a way to contact Airbnb. I'm really just frustrated because I just wanted things to be nice and organized, and I did so much work trying to make sure that everything was, and it's just fucking not. So I'm pretty fucking pissed, but I gotta just accept that this is the way things happen when you're traveling. I just I fucking hate that it had to be the goddamn honeymoon. It's fitting actually, it's, it's pretty fitting now that I'm saying it out loud. All right, so cleaning lady finally came, but I am not gonna stop my fucking rampage. We're gonna go to uh, the main square, the historic center, with the little time we have left for the day. Make sure not to squander it, because then we're basically booked for the next two days. All right, we made it to the square in Bogota. This place is nice, I'm not gonna lie. This is really impressive, especially compared to Medellin. But here everyone is skating on the plaza, having fun. It's nice. This place is awesome. Uh, there's a lot of like old churches that Tina likes. They tell me not to record stuff, so I've been recording it. Behind us here, there's a statue that got f***ed up. The place is cool looking, a little sketchy. Wanna make sure that the police are around while you vlog, so no one will stop you. Take your I have that same outfit. Just bought our mom's two rosaries. Beautiful church. It's very nice. A lot of religious stuff here. Old religious stuff. Tina loves this place. And this is a nice square. What is this? Alright, we're walking through the square. This place is really nice. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it again because I'm very surprised. I'm very impressed, but it's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Probably at night it will, but the view is spectacular. receive the power of the Gold Ranger. Yeah, I can feel it! Yeah, Bogota, the altitude's kind of high. It's like 8,660 feet above sea level. Seeing that we live at sea level, it's kind of affecting our brains. So we're just hydrating right now and uh, making sure that we don't get too dizzy. The magic conch. <laughs> All hail the magic conch. All hail the magic conch. All hail the magic conch. All right, so we're in the gold museum. It's getting dark out there. Gee. Oh no, it was just oxidized gold. That was for she didn't believe me. It's for the deal. These all look like characters from A Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like shock. Lock and barrel. Ladies. You think I'm quick? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> wow. So we are back in the apartment. It is now clean. It looks great. She did a great job. Um, they gave me a partial refund, so I don't feel too bad about that now. Our Uber driver was so nice. Santiago told us all about this 
He was like, you're in a good place. I live actually very close to where you're getting dropped off. And he was telling us about an area nearby that's very similar to like Bolivar Square, but doesn't have like the drug addicts and all like the, the pickpocketers he was talking about. He was like, that place is very dangerous. I don't like it. I go to work, I leave. But here, we have everything we need. Oh, new sheets. Oof, man, I was really, I was pissed about that for a second. Dude, there's no toilet paper. Don't tell me there's no toilet paper, bro. Oh, there's no toilet paper. 